testing, 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 testing.
All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to game two of the NLU18 Major Hockey League Final. The Pinnacle Growlers have a 1-0 lead in the series so far. So it's an exciting game here tonight. Last night was a dandy. It went to overtime, a 4-3 victory with the winner by Regan Hiscock. So both teams making their way onto the ice as we're about to get underway here. So two opposite goalies here today. It's going to be Nathan Hurley and Jacob French getting the start in net today. So folks, all eyes on one man today. Regan Hiscock, he netted a pair yesterday, including the game winner that put the Pinnacle Growlers up 1-0 in the series. Can he come up clutch again today? We'll have to find out, folks. It's game two about to get underway here at the DF Barnes Arena. So it looks like the refs are practicing wax on, wax off uh, down there on the ice with the puck. They're trying to cover up a little divot in the uh, ice there. It's all good now. And now let's get to playing some hockey, folks. Game two about to get underway. 
Here we go, folks. It's the Pinnacle Growlers. They take on the Tri-Pen Osprey in the NLU18 Major Hockey League Final. I'm your voice of the Pinnacle Growlers, Seth Hyde, and I'm glad to have you with us here tonight. Here goes Ronan Witten coming up with speed. Knocked away by Walsh. Witten keeps going with it. Laundry battling with Witten on the boards. Huge hit by Witten. The fans love that one. Kept in by Shepard, putting it down there to Witten. Witten turning that over to Reardon. Reardon coming up ice, lovely pass across there to Owen Sparks. He cuts in, shoots, that's blocked by Cooper. Sparks curling that back around, giving that out front, that's blocked. Fired on goal by Reardon, blocked again by Kernu. He comes up ice here, lovely move around one. Kernu shoots, covered in goal by Jacob French. So, folks, it seems like both teams are trying to ease into this one here. They don't want to burn themselves out too early on in the game because we all know what happens then. Here's Green putting that around the boards. That takes a weird bounce out in front, and it's covered by French. So, folks, lots, lots to look forward to as a hockey fan uh, tonight, the Habs and Leafs play again tonight. Unfortunately, I am a Leafs fan, but I am kind of sad that Carey Price isn't in net tonight uh, because I was kind of looking forward to seeing him come back, even though, as I mentioned, I am a Leafs fan. But, I mean, he is a great player. Nobody should have to go through what he's going through right now. So he will be back very soon, though, if rumor has it. So hopefully we get to see him back very soon. There's Goss. Trying to get that through, Devro. He's going to come up. He tries to dump that in, and that's blocked by Harris. He's going to leave that there for Crosby. Crosby up ice to Alex Crane. Crane giving it back for Fowler. Fowler shoots, gloved down by Hurley. So, folks, another thing to talk about in the NHL is Austin Matthews. He is on pace for 65 goals this season. He just broke Rick Vave's record uh, for most goals by a Toronto Maple Leaf. So tonight, let's see what he can do in Montreal. Maybe he can get to 60 tonight if he produces another four-goal game. Only time will tell. Tucker trying to put that in. That's gloved down by Porter. Maybe he should have played uh, with the Jays last night in their home opening game, which they actually won 10-8. Here's Mason Daw giving that up ice. Sexton's going to chip that in, and it almost came up to our broadcast booth up here. But luckily it didn't. And it hits off the side of that Harvey's heat retreat. There's Rowe giving that over to Byrne. He banks that off the boards and Daw's going to pick that up. Daw giving that back across to Hodder. Here's Cleary. Cleary up ice to Porter. Porter stepping in. That's turned over to Byrne. Burn banking that off the boards. Hodder's going to pick that back up. He gives it there to Da. Da giving it to Hodder. Hodder into Cleary. He chips that in deep. Burn almost put him right over the boards. There's Porter coming in, laying the body. Cleary down to Skinner. Skinner heading down behind the net. Seeing what he can do here. Out to the point to Shepard. Back to Skinner. Skinner cross ice to Cole Cooper. Cooper with it. Cooper firing that on goal. Redirected just wide and Tucker will pick that up. Tucker banking that off the boards. And it will go the full way for an icing call. So 17.06 left in the first period. It's 0-0. No score just yet, folks. There's Randall giving that out to Skinner, who gives it to Shepard. Redirected, saved, and goal. Now here's Christian Reardon giving that up. Shepard back in there to Skinner. Turn over to Whalen, who banks that off the boards. Ride out, dumping it in to the corner. Here's Cooper faking the twirl around then. Tucker trying to battle with him. Cooper goes down in the ice. He plays it by. 
Even on his knees, he still managed to get it through. Ian Walsh with a shot on it. It's covered in goal by Nathan Hurley. I mentioned yesterday, Ian Walsh was hardest working player of the game yesterday. And it was pretty well deserved. He had a great game uh, yesterday. So it seems like he's trying to continue that trend here in game two of the finals. This is when it all matters, folks. And he's showing what he's got in these first two games. Here's Ride out. Giving that down, Tucker back up to right out a shot, saved in goal there by Nathan Hurley. Lovely save by him as always. That's why he won goalie of the year with just a 1.724 goals against average, which is incredible. Here's Brady Walsh coming in. Walsh always gets brought down, no call on the play. A few Pinnacle Growlers players disagreed with that. Here come Tripen. Back the other way, they don't make it easy when the Pinnacle Growlers go for a change. They always seem to come out strong. Here's Green, he shoots, that heads wide, and now here's Tyler Kernu. Kernu around the boards there to Devro. Devro skating it back around, giving it up ice. Turnover, oh, Witten gets it by. Witten coming in. Witten across the top, he fans on it. Lovely pressure by Green. Reardon now coming back the other way. Christian Reardon coming in on goal shooting. That's knocked away. Harris picking that out. Harris down to Reardon. Reardon giving that out front fire on goal. Blockered away by Hurley. Out to the point it goes to Harris. Harris puts it down into the corner again. Tripen seeing what they can do here. Laundry tried to sneak it out in front and... They're still trying to dig for it, and it is covered up by Nathan Hurley. So a little bit of a scramble in front of the net then. You know, uh, what my coach always says is when it looks like the goalie is scrambling for the puck, the ref won't blow the whistle. But if the goalie stays still, the ref is going to blow the whistle even if the puck is, you know, in the crease still playing because he'll think that the goalie's got it covered. But if it's an all-out scramble, then he'll think he doesn't. So... For you goalies out there, um, I know it's probably pretty hard to try to keep that under control, but, I mean, it's definitely a tip from the one and only John Colbert. Fed in there to Laundry coming in on goal. Shooting, scoring! It's Damian Laundry, the tri-pen Osprey. Strike first for the second game in a row, and it's 1-0. A backhander right through the five hole. He caught Nathan Hurley at the worst time possible. Getting it right through the five hole. One nothing, Tripen. And they get the first goal for the second night in a row. So 14.43 left in the first period. One nothing for the Tripen Osprey. There's Hiscock trying to win that through. Fowler giving that down around the boards. Hotter up there to Walsh. Walsh leaving it there for Matthew Butler. Butler getting around Walsh. Oh, Butler gets checked. He pretty much reversed that hit. They both went down, but they're both okay. Here's Kyle Fowler with it on the boards, giving that up ice there to Alex Crane. Da over there to Liam Hodder. Up to Walsh. Walsh back to Matty Butler. Butler coming in. Oh, lovely moves from Butler. Was poked away by Jacob French. In net, given out there to Hiscock. Hiscock, lovely feed out to Shepard. He steps in, tried to give it over to Cooper. Cooper gets it again. Down there to Butler. Butler out to Shepard. Shepard putting it down into the corner again. Hiscock with it once again. Out to the point to Cooper. Cooper steps in, shoots, blocked, and cleared down the ice right on to Nathan Hurley's uh, stick. And Hiscock couldn't get his stick to it. And that results in a whistle. And icing call. So I'd like to give a shout out to Matthew Butler. He scored a hat trick in his first career uh, Beaumont Hamill tournament game. So what a way to come and swinging into that tournament. Netting a hat trick for the Holy Heart Highlanders. Here's Sexton. Getting that, trying to get it by, and now Cleary. Cleary spinning it back there to Devro. Devro to Goss. 
Doss plays that around the boards. Porter will chase Byrne. Cleary trying to get that. That's banked off the boards. Devereaux shoots, redirected. Couldn't get to the net. Given back in, Cleary chasing Byrne. Byrne around the boards to Kennedy. Kennedy blows a tire. Sexton puts it in around Cleary chasing. Off the boards, Devro putting it back in. And now here's Tucker. Tucker coming in on goal. He goes down low. And that squeezes out in front. Tripen not making it easy for the Pinnacle Growlers to get it out of their zone. They still try to jam away for it. Jacob Kennedy just avoiding the hit from Devro. And now Evan Tucker with it on the boards. That squeezes out in front to Young. Young trying to get it by. Out to the point to Green. He shoots. That's blocked. Cole Goss with it. Faking the slap shot and going the other way. Goss. Lovely move around one. He gets around a second and he elects to dump it in. There's Rowe around the boards there to Adrian Green. Giving out to the point. Mason Dahl wasn't there, but luckily Liam Hodder was right behind him. And that's dumped up and over the glass. And we've got a whistle. So folks, in case you're wondering why that wasn't a delay of game call, it has to be a blatant delay of game. So if you're clearly, you know, having like three tri-pen players, for example, or three Pinnacle Growlers players on you, and you just blatantly turn to the crowd and fire it up there, that's obviously going to be a delay of game penalty, but it's not called if you accidentally fired over the glass like it is in the NHL or AHL. Here's Dahl with it on the boards. Dahl coming up by spinning it around. Dawson. Dahl and Dawson battling on the board. Skinner giving... That up there to Randall. Randall tried to get that Skinner. Puts on the pressure. Pitcher. Da. Over to Hodder. Hodder getting that into Randall to Skinner. Skinner pushing that in around the boards. Green is going to get that. Randall turning that over. Hiscock picking that up. Regan Hiscock dancing around. Everybody turning the defense inside out. Skinner. Out to Shepard. He shoots, that's blocked, and now away, go Tripen. It's Dawson. He blew a tire, no stick uh, contact there from my point of view. And it looks like the ref agrees with that, so there was no penalty uh, on the play there. Here's Green coming up ice. Green flipping that into laundry. He tried to bat it out of midair and get a home run right into the net. Here's Cooper with it down behind. Cooper. Scooping it around the boards. Reardon intercepts. Reardon out to Sparks. Sparks shoots. Redirected wide of the net. Witten around the boards. Harris picking that up. Harris off the boards. Witten. Witten up ice there to Kernu. Cooper with it on the boards. He turns it back around. Cooper up there now. Here's Ronan Witten. Witten coming in, cutting across the top. Still going in, Witten almost went the full way. Oh, what a rush that would have been. And now away go Tripen back the other way. Turned over to Devro and Kernu is going to lay on the pressure. Here's Sparks poking that down the ice. Devro getting it around the boards there to Vich. Vich off the boards there to Butler. Butler couldn't get that. Butler, it squeezes out to him. Butler tried to get it to Vich. It hit off his skate and he lost it in his feet. And now Harris coming back the other way. Harris shooting. It goes over the net. Cole Goss trying to clear it away. What a sequence this has been. No breaks, folks. Lots of back and forth hockey for sure. Here's Cole Goss. Goss coming back up ice again. Cole Goss might go the full length of the ice here. He shoots glove down by Jacob French. So Bay Roberts has had lots of hockey uh, recently, lots of success in their hockey with the Tri-Pen Osprey and their very own CBN Junior Stars who made it to the finals but lost in double overtime. What a thrilling game that was 
folks last night, but they got another team in the finals in Tri-Pin. So they do have a second chance at a title, but the Pinnacle Growlers aren't going to make it easy for Tri-Pin to bring that home. But Tri-Pin are a hungry forward. Here comes Regan Hiscock coming in. He couldn't get around Whalen. That's up ice. Da. Da over to Hodder. Hodder giving that into Walsh. Walsh stepping across back to Butler. Butler dancing around one, two, three. Giving it to Walsh back to Butler again. Butler out to the point to Hodder. The Pinnacle Growlers want to get on the board. That's something they've been so skilled at doing. They're all season they're scoring for fun almost. Here's Butler with it. Butler giving that across to Hodder. Hodder stepping in, shooting. Rebound out in front and cleared down the ice by Tripen. 8-18 left in the first period. It's 1-0 for Tripen. And it's been a pretty slow but fast period if you know what I mean. It feels like the, the game is pretty fast paced but it feels like it's been a pretty slow game as uh, the clock ticks down here. So it's another packed house here at the DF Barnes Arena once again as usual. It always seems like uh, DF Barnes is packed recently especially during the playoffs. I had a game this morning at 10 and I came in at 9 and it was still almost full. So it just goes to show how devoted all the fans are in Newfoundland about hockey. Here's Sexton dumping that in and getting checked by Young. Green almost had a collision with his own teammate then. We don't want to see any helmets getting stuck together like we did uh, last night. I don't think I've ever seen that before, and I probably will never see that happen ever again, if I'm being completely honest with you. Cleary shoots that on goal, gloved down by Jacob French. One by by Porter and covered up by the netminder. So it's 1-1 in the Newfoundland Growlers game in case you are wondering in the second period. Newfoundland Growlers currently sit third in the league in the ECHL. Seems like the players are really starting to step it up. We had a bit of a slow start to the first period. Both the teams trying to test the waters but now it's full out. It's a full-out sprint for both of these teams by the looks of it. Here's Goss batting that over to Shepard. Shepard stepping across the red line, giving it into Cole Goss. Goss, he's going to calmly dump that in. Jacob French playing that down behind to Adrian Green. Green giving that up ice to ride out. And now Pitcher coming in. In's Cole Goss. Goss giving that to Shepard who clears that down the ice. Green trying to get it right out. It's going to pick that up. He dumps it in. Glove down by Shepard. Here's Rideau picking that up. He shoots. He scores. It's Jared Rideout. And the Tri-Pen Osprey are up 2 nothing. So what a start to this game, folks. 2-0 for the Tri-Pen Osprey, the biggest deficit the Pinnacle Growlers have faced all season, especially at home. So correct me if I am wrong in the comments, but from what I remember, this is the biggest deficit they've had to face so far this season. There's Cole Goss giving that up to Skinner. Skinner coming in into Randall. Randall trying to get that. That's turned over to Dawson. Dawson around the boards. That goes down to Cole Goss. Goss picking that up. Goss, oh, lovely moves. He could go end to end here. Goss giving that over to Randall. He shoots up in the air. Cole Goss couldn't bat that into the net. Here's Skinner with it down behind. He gives that out front to Randall. Shot saved in goal there by French. Butler. Down to Skinner. 
Skinner out to Goss. He shoots, saved in goal. Sparks is going to get that. And he's going to start to come up ice here. In goes Laundry, Turned over to Goss who flips it back up. Here comes Ronan Witten. Witten coming in. Witten shoots, saved in goal by French. Oh my goodness, folks. What a game Jacob French is playing so far here tonight. He shut down every Pinnacle Growlers attack there has been. Duh, giving that into Witten. He shoots, glove down by French. Lots of fanfare in the building for the Tri Pen Osprey. Here's Witten winning that there to Carnu. He's brought down and no penalty called on the play there. Dumped in around there to Ian Walsh who tries to bank that off the boards. Fowler trying to get that up ice. That's turned over to Carnu. Crane kicking that up. Crane trying to bank that off the boards. Hodder losing that. Crosby battling with Vich. Fowler stepping in here. That squeezes out to Ian Walsh. Walsh up ice to Crane who chips it in deep. And now Hodder with it on the boards. Vich. There he goes. Vich trying to get that up ice turnover. Now here come Tripen. And on goal, Harris shoots. That goes wide. Banking that out back out in front. Cleared away. Toddler Canoe laying on the pressure. And now here's Mason Daw. Daw dancing around Crane and dumping it in and covered up by Jacob French. 3.59 left of this first period, 2-0 for the Osprey. All right, folks, so we'd also like to thank you for 500 followers on Twitter. If it wasn't for all you guys, I wouldn't be here right now, so we thank you very, very much for all the support. So a lot of these players, I'm guessing, is are really tired after their Beaumont Hamill games today. I know Cole Goss, Drew Shepard, and Morgan Porter had one uh, today with Queen Elizabeth. They went to another shootout. They must be sick of shootouts by now. That's their second of the tournament against Ron Colley. They ended up dropping that one 2-1, to one, losing in another shootout. But they played their hearts, hearts out in that game. And honestly, it could have gone either way. I watched that game, and it was a very, very good one. Here's Hiscock trying to stop for that one. Green steps in, looking to make the lead. Three shoots redirected up and over the glass. Goes out to the point. Walsh couldn't get there. Now here's Randall. Cutting by. Randall down behind the net. Randall with it on the boards. Giving that out front. And it's covered up by French. So lots of whistles in these last few minutes. Fed out to the point to Shepard. He gives that down low to Cooper. Cooper out front. That squeezes by and now Pitcher. Coming up ice. Stick lifted by Skinner. Skinner getting it again. Chipping it by. Couldn't get to it. Whalen around the boards. Cooper picking that up. Cooper to Witten. Witten trying to get that by and right out is just going to chip it down the ice. Shepard with it. Spinning back around, right out, 
to Witten. Cooper to Skinner, lovely passing by the Pinnacle Growlers, and now they're starting to pick up the pace. Randall shoots glove down by French. So 2.33 left here in this first period. Porter winning that out to Goss. He shoots, redirected. That goes wide, and Reardon picks that up. He gives it up to Laundry. Laundry dumping that down around the boards. Cole Goss picking that up. Up to Sexton. Sexton trying to get that up ice. Cole Goss with it. Goss coming up to Cleary. Cleary banking that off the boards. Here's Sexton. Poking that by, and now Tripen coming back the other way. Devro to Goss. Goss to Sexton. Porter almost losing that. It goes into Cleary. Cleary stepping into Porter. Morgan Porter getting around one. Firing in, it goes up and over the glass. Here's Green with it, down behind the net. Tripen getting that up ice, Laundry redirecting it into the zone. Cole Goss on the boards there to Kernu. Kernu banking that there to Cole Goss again. Goss trying to get that around, Vich trying to get that back. Devro off the boards there to Cole Goss. Skating it back, Devro to Kernu, goes Kernu, roll, dumping that back up, Witten, turned that over to Laundry. Damian Laundry, trying to give that to Owen oh, Sparks, oh my goodness, scrambling everywhere in front of the net, Green puts that over the glass. So one minute and one second left here in this first period. It's 2-0 for the Tri-Pen Osprey. And they have a commanding lead over the Pinnacle Growlers. There's Butler trying to poke that by. A little collision down on the boards there. Getting out turned over to Brady Walsh. Trying to power through. Whalen gets it. Whalen banking that off the boards. Crane to Fowler. Here's Hodder, around there to Da. Hiscock, he has it on the boards. He's trying to curl around Crane. Hiscock starting to come up ice. Here goes Hiscock, Regan Hiscock around one, two. He got to get around the whole team to go to the net, giving it out in front. Knocked away there by Ian Walsh. Here's Butler trying to get it. Crosby coming back up ice. Here goes Crosby, giving that to Fowler, turned over, and now Hiscock, maybe one last rush for the Pinnacle Growlers. He comes in, shut down by Ian Walsh. He fires it over the boards, and that's it for our first period of play, folks. Same drill as last night. Go get yourself a snack, use the bathroom. We'll be back once the second period commences.
All right, folks. Welcome back to our third, our second period of play between the Pinnacle Growlers and Tri Pen Osprey. The Tri Pen Osprey right now lead two nothing. So they're not making it easy for the Pinnacle Growlers, but we do know the Pinnacle Growlers are very good at coming back. So let's see if they can pull another one off here in the second period. And folks, if you're here any time this weekend, be sure to drop down to the canteen. The U11C team is fundraising to go to Glovertown for their provincial hockey tournament. So be sure to bring a bit of cash so you can buy something from the canteen. They have hot food as well. So if you're hungry and never had lunch tomorrow, drop in and grab something from the canteen, some delicious food uh, down there for sure. So Tripen coming back onto the ice here. They had a very good first period, shutting down the Pinnacle Growlers on defense very well. The second period is always the weirdest period. And I think pretty much every hockey player can agree with me on that one. It's always one where one team is tired. It's usually, even though period three is obviously the last one, it's usually the most important period because the team that wins the period, if you will, usually goes on to win the game. So let's see what happens here in this second period of play. I'm Seth Hyde, your voice of the Pinnacle Growlers and we are underway in this second period of play in a 2-0 game between a clash of two titans. Andrew Vich almost got a lucky one in on Jacob French in goal. Away goes Laundry. Laundry trying to come up ice, and now that goes up to Reardon. He's caught off sides. So 1936 left to the second period, 2 nothing tri -pin. Pretty commanding first period. I think that's actually the first first period that the Pinnacle Growlers did not score all year as well. So tri -pin handed them a bit of a beating in the first period even though they were outshot by the Pinnacle Growlers. Here's Sparks coming in again, saved in goal by Hurley. There's Laundry, Laundry with it down behind the net, stopping away and giving it out front to Reardon, he shoots. Cleared away by Ronan Witten. It's a matter of minutes until the Pinnacle Growlers get on the board. They've been all over Tripen in these past few minutes of this game. So folks, in case you're wondering, I'm going to be doing the Beaumont Hamill Championship game at 2 p.m. tomorrow on Rogers Television. You can also watch it on Rogers TV website, and I believe it's also on their YouTube channel. So three ways you can watch it. That should be an exciting game for sure. There might even be some familiar faces from two of these teams in one of those games uh, tomorrow. So be sure to stay tuned for that. That's going to be a super exciting game. Here's Brady Walsh coming in on goal, shooting. Saved by French, it pops out front and it's just cleared away by Green. Alex Crane dumping that down the ice. Cole Goss is gonna battle for it and try to get it by Green. Putting that down around the boards is Devro getting it. Devro banking that back out there to Hiscock. Hiscock in the Walsh. Stepping across is Jesse Harris who puts it into the corner. Goss. Dancing around one. Starts to work his way up the ice. Hiscock trying to get that back, and he does. Getting it into Matthew Butler. Butler giving it over to Cole Goss. Goss cutting in. Getting by Green. Goss around the boards to Butler. Will this be the opener for the Pinnacle Growlers here? It sure looks like a dead row shoots. Blockered away by French. Here's Brady Walsh curling and shooting. Saved and goal again by French. They try to jam it away. They were about to blow the play dead, but Tripen just getting it out. 
Hurley going to play that up the ice. Turned over. Crane stepping in. Fowler is going to take that. Intercepted. Hiscock in the wall. She couldn't get to it. And French is going to cover that up. So what a sequence that was. Witten winning that out to Da. He steps in, shoots, redirected. That goes wide. Not sure how those goalies managed to save some of those redirections when they come in on the net. Here's Byrne dumping that in. Hodder is going to get that and start to circle around. Hodder giving that up ice. Randall chipping it off the boards. Tucker. In there to Witten. Witten seeing what he can do here. He tries to give it around. Turn over Rowe. Up to Young. He banks that off the boards. Hodder is going to chase that in. Skinner. There to Witten. Witten up by some Randall. He couldn't get that down, but Witten gets it back again. Witten giving it over to Hodder. Randall coming in. Trying to drop that back to Witten, and that hits off the boards. Here's Skinner. Coming back up by Skinner. Coming in on goal. Skinner down low, turning that over. And now Tripen come back the other way. Here's Shepard with it. Shepard over there to Cooper. Shepard trying to get that up ice. Intercepted by Rideout and dumped back in. Shepard getting that. Shepard with it down behind the net. Cooper. In there to Cleary. Cleary dishing that across to Sexton, and that goes in there to Wheeler. Or Whalen, rather. And now away go Tripen. Coming in, looking to make it a three goal cushion here. Fired and saved in goal by Hurley. Dawson banking that off. Cooper with a great check on the boards then. He said, let's get physical on that play. They still try to battle for it here. Cooper. Getting that free, battling with Ride out. Two of them having lots of scrambles on the boards. Here's Sexton. Sexton coming up ice, giving it into Porter. That is banked off the boards and cleared down the ice. Here, oh, almost turn over in front, and it is! It's Morgan Porter with a Christmas gift right there. It's a 2-1 game, and the Pinnacle Growlers snap right back into it. You could say an early Christmas gift or a late birthday gift. So it's a 2-1 game. And the Pinnacle Growlers doing what they do best. This could be the a turning point in this game. Also, folks, I'd like to give a shout-out to Nathan Edwards. Rather than being behind the computer doing some lovely graphics, he was doing the commentary of one of the games today, and he did a fantastic job. Maybe we can have him on uh, one of the streams one day. He did a fantastic job. So, Nathan, if you're listening, great job. He can do it all, folks. The manager of O'Donnell, he also does graphics, and he's now a newly formed broadcaster. So, he is a bit of a triple threat himself. Here's Witten laying on the pressure here. Vich is going to take that over. Witten getting that, giving that up ice. That's turned over, and Tripen almost getting caught off sides then. Vich dumping that back in. Kernu faking the slap shot around the boards. Kernu trying to get that. Witten turning that over to Adrian Green. Banking that up ice. Here goes Reardon. Reardon coming in. Reardon across the top. Shooting and saved in goal by Hurley. So what a close game this has been so far, folks. Don't go anywhere. We're only in the second period. It's one out by Sparks. Hit off his skate, and Daw picks that up. Hodder up to Butler. Butler coming in. 
Butler stopping and waiting, going down behind the net, giving that back up front. Walsh tried to jam it away, and now here comes Tripen. It's Laundry stepping in and dumping it around the boards. Hodder. Hodder trying to get that up ice. Turn over to Laundry. Laundry gave that into Crane. Laundry getting that back again. Laundry battling with Da. Whalen stepping in, pulling it around the boards to Crosby. He tries to get that up front, out to the point. Fired on goal by Whalen, that heads wide. And now Hiscock trying to get that up. Hiscock kicking that off his skate. Turned over to Crosby. Hiscock still managing to keep it out. Great play by him. And now Butler trying to get that crane, avoiding the hit on Walsh. In steps Hiscock. That just manages to find its way down the ice. Hiscock. Trying to play that around the boards. Butler. That goes out to Shepard. Shepard to Cooper. Cooper shoots. That's blocked in front of the goal. Shepard getting that back again. Out to Walsh. That's redirected and off the netting. So, folks, so many seats are filled that there's people lined around the glass again. Tonight, that's how many people are in the building. That was kind of the same situation out in uh, Bay Arena last night as well. I tuned into a bit of that game before I did the Pinnacle Growlers one, and that was completely block solid, just like D.F. Barnes here tonight. Here's Vich winning that through, fired on goal, redirected away. Fowler dumping that down the ice. Shepard trying to play that back in. Banked off the boards. Crane redirecting that. And it is an icing call. Randall getting that out to the point to Cooper. Golden opportunity now for the Pinnacle Growlers to even up this game. Here's Crosby. He trips up on his on a loose stick down behind the net. Unfortunate for him that banks off Crosby's skate. Here's Cooper giving that across to Drew Shepard. He steps in, shoots, and that goes around the boards. Cooper down to Skinner. Here's Randall giving that back out front there to Vich. Vich dangling around Crosby tried to go for a little spinorama there that would have been a beautiful play Vich picking that back up again to even it up he shoots kicked away and goal by Jacob French that's dumped up the ice Fowler trying to get that Vich stepping in Vich giving that out front and that's knocked away Fowler now starting to come up ice flipping that up Glove down by Shepard. Vich almost caught off sides. He just barely avoided that. Here's Harris coming in. Shooting redirected up and off the netting by Hurley. So 11-24 left in this second period. And it's 2-1 for Tripen. So if there's any minor hockey players listening or watching to this game, you can learn a lot from these uh, Pinnacle Growlers games. I got to say so. I pay attention, whether you're a defender, winger, center, or even goalie, I'd pay attention to some of their positioning and some of the plays they do because they can be very useful in uh, a game of yours. So just try to keep an eye out for some of the things that are happening. They're definitely useful in some of these games. Went out there, fired on goal, redirected away. Young almost got that on goal. Ian Walsh putting that down into the corner. Porter around the boards. Sexton couldn't get to it. Young stepping in. Young flips that up and over the glass. 
Seems like there's been a lot of pucks out of play this game. Lots off the netting and over the glass. So the refs have had to use about 10 pucks so far this game. Maybe that's a result of the shorter boards here in DF Barnes Arena, but that's what we love about the DF Barnes Arena, that it's a bit of a throwback rink. Lots of memories were created right here in this building over many, many years, even in its Felian Garden days. Oh, a huge hit on the boards by Evan Tucker. The ref's arm is raised. But that hit was rock solid, just like the TV show on HDTV. But he is going to get a penalty for that, and the Pinnacle Growlers can even up this game. And actually, it wasn't Evan Tucker who laid out that hit. It was Riken Young. So that's going to be a four-minute power play for the Pinnacle Growlers. That's dumped on down the ice. Hurley leaving it there for Cole Goss. And folks, if you watched uh, Game 7 all the way back in 2019, uh, San Jose Sharks versus Vegas Gold Knights, we're going a little bit far back here now, but there was a four-minute power power play I think or a five minute power play and San Jose were down three nothing and they scored three goals on that five minute power play so will we see that happen with the pinnacle growlers they have the best power play and tripen have the best penalty kill so best offense meeting best defense fed into Butler he shoots that's kicked away in goal by Jacob French here's Walsh Walsh dancing by, giving that down to Butler. He takes a tumble on the boards, and that's cleared all the way down the ice. So Hurley is gonna, just going to touch that down behind the net there to Cole Goss. Goss starts to come up ice, and he might go the full way here. If you haven't noticed already, he's taken a bit of an offensive role in these past few games. If you watched his Queen E game, Queen Elizabeth game versus O'Donnell, he took on a huge offensive role in that game, scoring a goal in the last 30 seconds of that game to send it to overtime and eventually a shootout. So he's starting to become an offensive defenseman just like Kale McCarr in the NHL. Fired on goal. Walsh lost it in his skate. Here's Butler. Giving that out to Walsh. He shoots. That's blocked on goal. Goss down to Butler. Butler fakes a shot. Steps in. Shoots. Oh, rebound in front. They try to jam it away in French. Getting across and making another lovely save. Butler trying to shovel that out in front of the net. Out to the point to Cole Goss. Giving that over to Hiscock. Hiscock stepping in. Back out to the point there to Butler. Butler leaving it for Walsh. Walsh to Hiscock. He shoots over the net. What a chance that was for the Pinnacle Growlers. So a pretty eventful power play it's been so far. Dry pen aren't making it easy for the Pinnacle Growlers to get these shots on net. Here's Laundry. Laundry coming up ice, stepping across. Laundry with four Pinnacle Growler players on him there. He had a great effort. That's cleared back in. Mason Daw is going to pick that up. Step back around, and here's Morgan Porter with it. He has one goal for the Pinnacle Growlers this evening. The only one, as a matter of fact. Here's Laundry coming up ice. Knocked back in to Ronan Witten. He turns around and Witten giving it there to Porter to Witten to Daw. Daw steps in, shoots that heads wide and goes around the boards to Porter. He shoots redirected, hitting off Kernu's cage around the boards and all the way down the ice. Hurley going to come out and play it. Let's see if he can get an assist off that pass here. 
We saw Clay Ryan get one in the last game of the regular season. Now you can see Nathan Hurley get one here. Vich giving that into Kernu. Here goes Tyler Kernu. Giving that across to Whitney shoots. Oh my. Jacob French. All he needs to do is stand on his head to complete a full game here. Porter. Giving that over to Ronan Witten. Witten coming in. Vich just avoiding the offsides. Kernu. Back into Witten. Oh my. Almost redirected into the top corner. Man, oh man, it's been pressure, 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 under pressure, just like Queen and David Bowie. Went out to the point there to Cole Goss. Goss begins to step in. He gives that over to Butler to Hiscock. Hiscock out to the point there to Cole Goss. Goss faking the shot, dropping two players with the fake then. Tricked those defenders like an April Fool's joke. Hiscock turns that over and that's cleared down the ice by Tripen. And they might just kill off this four minute penalty. Just 13 seconds to go on that one. Turned over to Pitcher. He tries to dance around and Tripen are gonna do it here. Tripen have killed off a four minute penalty. That is absolutely astonishing by Tripin. So just 6.25 left in the second period. Here come Tripin. Coming in on goal, fired by Fowler. Here's Crane. Crane stepping in, giving that down, and they score! It's Nicholas Crosby, and the Tripin Osprey have a commanding two-goal lead. What a pass to a wide open Nicholas Crosby. Scoring the easiest goal of his life right into the corner. You can hear the dink of the post. What a goal by him. 3-1 for the try Penn Osprey. Here's Fowler getting that there to Crosby. Crosby to Crane, he fans on that. Kernu in there to Skinner. Skinner, cutting by Skinner down behind the netty. Turns it back around, out to the point to Hodder. Hodder, over to Da. He fires out on goal, that's blocked, and now here goes Alex Crane. Kernu trying to scoop that back in, and he does. That goes in there to Dylan Whalen. Up ice, turned over to Mason Don. Will we see what happened last night again tonight? Pinnacle Growlers got up 3-1. Tripen came back. So will that happen again tonight? Here comes Crosby in again. Crosby to Crane shooting. Redirect to Crane again. Shot wide of the net. Fired on goal by Green. That's blocked. Nobody knew where it was for a second. Hodder clearing that away. Here's Young dumping that back in. Hurley is going to play it. Down behind the Da. Mason Da to Hodder. Da with it again. Da around Tucker. Tucker looking for the man in front, trying to jam it through. Out to the point. Fired on goal. Redirected in front. Still manages to stay out. Tucker out to the point. Shoots. Redirected again, just wide of the net. Young. Huge check on the boards. The Pinnacle Growlers defense love that one. And now that goes out to Kennedy. He fires that. Saved and goal by Hurley. He's been peppered in this second period. Here's Da with it down behind the net. Skinner turning that over to Sparks. Sparks stepping in down behind the net. Trying to give that up front to Kennedy. Knocked away by Mason Da. Tucker down to Sparks. Clear down the ice. And when in doubt, dump it out, folks. That's what the Pinnacle Growlers did to get a bit of pressure off Nathan Hurley. He's had more shots than Kellogg's got cornflakes. So 4-13 left in this second period. It's 3-1 for the tri Pen Osprey. Here's Reardon kicking that out to Green. 
Dumped back in around the boards. Harris blows a tire. Larry trying to poke that by that. Spanks off the boards. Shepard couldn't get to it. Porter, Sexton, dumping that down the ice, and it will go the full way for an icing call. So, folks, we'd like to thank all the viewers uh, on the game today. This wouldn't be possible without you, so thank you all for tuning in. There's Sparks trying to give that out. Sexton banking that off the boards, almost going over the glass. And now here's Morgan Porter looking for his second of the day. Cleary shoots that on net. Block. Porter gets it back again. Porter trying to get that back in. That hit off Riley Rose's uh, skate. Played down, and Hurley is going to cover that up. So, folks, there's only been one penalty so far tonight. Because both of these teams are trying to stay out of the box. Getting a penalty can cause a goal, as we all know, when you get down a man and your teammates can get tired. We were talking to Mike O'Brien, goalie coach and technician guy for our team, if you will. And that's what he uh, was saying. Maybe we could get a new segment on the go here on the Pinnacle Growlers stream. Coach's Scoop, maybe. Or we can come up with a more catchy name than that. Let us know down in the comments. Here's Reardon. Reardon coming in, putting that down off the boards. Vich. Stepping across and giving that up to Cooper. Cooper off the boards. Skinner is going to chase Burn down. Kernu. Playing that around the board. Sparks is going to pick that up. Sparks clipping that off the boards. Shepard's going to fire that on goal. Glove down by French. So right now, in case you're not watching it, uh, you might have this on your computer and the Leafs and Habs game up on the TV, but it is 0-0 in that game right now, so that is a crucial one. I think the Habs are up 2-1 in the season series between those two teams. And no Carey Price in net tonight. There's Whalen just poking that through. Fed up by Adam Dawson. That goes up ice. Tried to get it up to Kernu. Pitcher stepping in. Oh my goodness. That's pretty unsportsmanlike by Gavin Pitcher. He just slashed Tyler Kernu right in the right in the helmet. So that could be another four minutes for them. That is uncalled for, folks. I'm not even sure what kind of penalty that would be if he hit somebody in the face intentionally, maybe slashing, and it will be a four-minute power play for the Pinnacle Growlers. There's Butler trying to win that through. Whalen's going to... Clear that down. Oh, no, that's gloved down by Goss. Butler out to Goss again. Goss back to Butler. Butler steps in, shoots, redirected over the net. Here's Hiscock. Shepard out to the point to Walsh. Walsh steps in, shoots, redirected wide of the net once again. Shepard laying on the pressure here. Walsh trying to jam it through. Giving it all his might, and the net comes off. So tensions rising here in this game faster than the gas prices.
There's Butler winning that out. Hiscock out to the point to Goss. Goss steps in, shoots, redirected out in front. Walsh couldn't get there. And now that's turned over to Shepard. Shepard stepping in. Over to Hiscock. Oh, my goodness. Off a tri-pen player. Off one of his players. And off the post. My goodness. That would have been wild if that went into the net. In comes Walsh. You just hit the ref. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's cleared back down. We're down to our last minute of play here in this second period. There's Butler. Giving it to Goss. Goss coming in. Goss just cutting across the blue line. Seeing what he can do here. Seeing if there's anybody back door. He gives that across here to Butler. Back to Goss. Goss to Hiscock. Hiscock stepping in. Into Butler. Butler to Goss. Goss fakes the shot. Back to Hiscock. Hiscock shoots. Redirected off the post. Oh my goodness. Bad to worst for the pinnacle ground. There's another post hit off another deflection. There's Goss banking that up to Witten. Here comes Goss. Cole Goss coming in. Around one, around two, around three. Oh, he almost went the full way. What a goal that would have been. Listen to the roar of this crowd. Out to the point to Drew Shepard. Giving that back into Cole Goss. Poked away by Ian Walsh. Carnew trying to battle for that, and that will conclude our second period, an eventful period of play. So, folks, same drill as the first. Get yourself a snack, watch a bit of the Habs and Leafs game, and we'll be back once the third period commences.
All right, folks, welcome back to our third and final period of play. The Pinnacle Growlers looking to do exactly what the tri Pen Osprey did last night and come back from two goals down. It was 3-1 heading into the third period last night when tri Pen came back. So will it be deja vu the other way around? During the intermission, I was having a look at the Leafs versus Habs game, streaming it on my phone, watching Steve Dangle live on YouTube. And Austin Matthews scored two goals in the span of 40 seconds on Sam Montembeau's first shot on goal. Austin Matthews scores his 57th and 58th. And actually, he scored 51 goals in his last 50 games. So Austin Matthews has been absolutely lighting it up in the NHL recently. Maybe we'll see one of these players lighting it up in the NHL uh, one day. Just like our homeboys Dawson Mercer and Alex Newhook. Dawson Mercer and his New Jersey Devils won today as well against the Dallas Stars 3-1. Alex Newhook take on Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers also later on tonight. So both Newfoundland boys are in action uh, today. Plus the Leafs and the Habs. So lots of hockey to watch both in the NHL and right here in Newfoundland. So the Pinnacle Growlers still on the power play heading into this third period. Witten winning that back out. Porter to Da. Mason Da giving that across there to Cleary. That's dumped down the ice. Hurley's going to come out and play it and give it back there to Da. Giving that up to Morgan Porter who steps in and he lays the body there on Fowler. Da picking that up. Da spinning that around there to Porter. Porter fans on that pass. Porter, lovely move. He starts to work his way up the ice looking for a power play goal in his second. Morgan Porter banks that off the boards. Green is going to step in and intercept. Here's Kernu. Out to Da. Da puts that back in. Giving out to the point to Porter. Oh my goodness. Morgan Porter's played phenomenal today. He's had a bit of trouble ringing the twine except for his first goal. And now here's Tyler Kernu. Getting around Whalen, stepping in, shooting, saved and goal, cleared off the line by Ian Walsh, doing what he did yesterday. Dumped down the ice by Young and Tripen, by the way it's going here, might kill off another four minute penalty. But Regan Hiscock looking to make that not happen here. He steps in, shoots, redirected, Hiscock, oh my. A double gloves save then, Hiscock. Tried to get it out of midair. He swatted it down and French gloved it down. So that's our first whistle of this third period. And your Newfoundland Growlers update. They're up 4-3 over the Cincinnati Cyclones. And also, there's 4,833 people at that game down at the Mary Brown Center tonight. So almost a packed house. And it must be really loud down there. A packed house here tonight as well. So... Lots of hockey on the go in Newfoundland. This is the most exciting time of the year, so we're back to even strength. Hiscock stepping it in on Whalen. Out to the point to Shepard. Shepard firing that on goal. Redirected. Oh, my. Hiscock trying to jam it in, and it's shot just wider than that. Walsh poking that by. Butler laying the body on Whalen. Trying to get that out to the point. And now Tripen coming down the other way and it will go the full way for an icing call. So the Pinnacle Growlers starting to get a little bit frustrated 
over on the bench. Jacob French has been shutting them down this whole game. I mean, I'd be frustrated too if I had ran into a goalie like him. Here's Crane, Alex Crane with the no-look shot on goal. Hurley scooping that out in front of the net. And now here goes Michael Skinner. Lovely move around one. Giving it into Andrew Vich. He gets his stick lifted. Great chance by Michael Skinner. Skinner poking that by, and that's dumped up the ice. Shepard. A big hit by Alex Crane, and we could have a our third four-minute penalty of the night. So is it Alex Crane? It's Alex Crane, and we've got an injury down on the ice. I'm not sure who is injured. I didn't see who received the check. But we hope whoever it is is okay. So that could be a four-minute power play for the Pinnacle Growlers. So I think that that is Drew Shepard. Yes, it is. Drew Shepard. So we're glad he is okay enough to skate off the ice with the help of Jeff Weber, who the Pinnacle Growlers actually just signed uh, before Christmas to come back with them next season. So that's pretty exciting. He works at the Paradise Physiotherapy Clinic. So he got lots of knowledge about that kind of stuff. That's why he's the Pinnacle Growlers trainer. So Drew Shepard getting a bit of medical attention down there. We hope he can come back into this game. So it's going to be a two-minute power play for the Pinnacle Growlers. Matthew Butler out to Cole Goss. Porter stepping in, shooting. That's blocked by Ian Walsh. Goss keeping that in. Porter faking the pass. Here's Butler out to Goss to Porter to Butler. Lovely passing from the Pinnacle Growlers. It's Hiscock who shoots. Pad save and goal. Porter over to Goss. He shoots blocked by Fowler. Porter into Butler. Butler stepping in, toe drag fires, that's blocked again. Oh my goodness. Porter shoots, blocked again. Fed back over to Goss. Goss to Porter, shot on goal, blocked again. Oh my goodness, folks. You wouldn't know, but they had a brick wall in front of the net. Fowler getting hyped up by the bench and he hops off the ice. He is in agony. He had to block four shots. Oh my goodness, man, he is a soldier. Props to him for doing that, Kyle Fowler. He is gonna feel that one in the morning. I bet you he got like 10 bruises from that. Here's Mason Daw. Daw into Shepard. Shepard up to Witten. Witten. Stopping and waiting. Witten out to the point to Drew Shepard. He steps in and waits over to Witten. Out to Shepard. To Witten. Witten shoots. Across off the post. Mason Daw giving it back out front. Carnew trying to jam it by. Oh my, the Pinnacle Growlers have had tough luck here in this game. It's only a matter of time that they will get a goal here. Dumped in by Rideout. Jared Rideout, 30 seconds left. And in case you haven't noticed, Drew Shepard is back out on the ice. And my goodness, Tripen are just dominating on the penalty kill. And it looks like the ref lost sight of the puck. So we got another whistle. 
So it's 3-1 for the Tri-Pen Osprey. 15-22 left in the third period. Here's Da. Da playing that up ice. Sexton chasing that down. Waylon clearing that back up ice. And we are back to even strength, so the Pinnacle Growlers 0 for 3 tonight on the power play. Here comes Mason Da, who dumps that in around the boards. Waylon up around Crane, turning it over to Sexton. Out to the point to Da, and that just gets away from him. Liam Hodder into Mason Da. Da steps in, shoots, glove down by French. So a nice glove saved by Jacob French. So it seems like it's been a pretty slow third period so far. We're only six minutes in. And now away go Tripen. It's Sparks trying to get by Dawson. Back to Sparks. Sparks up there to Laundry, and that goes down to Shepard. Shepard giving that up ice, and now away goes Ronan Witten. Witten dancing around. Oh, he's brought down by Adrian Green. And now Green with it on the boards. Green starting to come up ice, banking that up. Shepard. Trying to give that up to Skinner. That's turned over. That's poked out to Laundry. Laundry stepping in. Laundry shoots. Glove down by Hurley. There's Fowler shooting. Rebound out in front. Hurley goes down. They score. And that's going to count. It, it's That's going to count. So the Tri-Pen Osprey are up 4-1. It's Nick Crosby with his second of the night. And I'm not trying to sound biased here, even though I am uh, the Pinnacle Growlers commentator, but I do think that that was goalie interference. Hurley was pretty blatantly checked by one of the Tripen players. I think actually why they are calling this a goal is because it did look like one of the Pinnacle Growlers defenders actually pushed one of the Tripen players into Nathan Hurley. So I think that actually is allowed because it was a Pinnacle Growlers player who did push um, the Tripen player into Nathan Hurley. I think that's what happened. Uh, I just kind of caught the Tripen player going into Nathan Hurley. I'm no uh, video reviewer, folks, but that's just what I saw happen. So Tripen get away with one there. They're up 4-1 now. And they have played an incredible game today. I definitely think that Jacob French has been a huge difference maker for Tripen in this game. And so is the post for uh, Tripen, the Pinnacle Growlers have hit the post a lot. That's why it is every goalie's best friend, unless it goes post and in. Here's Hodder around the boards to Canoe. Kernu coming up ice, banking that off the boards. That goes down to Hodder. Hodder will pick that up, put that off the boards there to Da. Da trying to get by, Young trying to give that out front. Give it up and banked off the boards, Waylon. Banked around, in comes Vich. French gonna come out and play it. 
Young. Young off ice. Kennedy cutting in. Knocked down by Dodd. Tucker shoots. That's blocked. And an all-out scramble to get this out of the zone. Here's Porter winning the foot race around Kennedy. Porter trying to give that out front. Carnew is going to pick that up. He goes down. Carnew tangled up. Carnew. That goes out to the point to Cole Cooper. Cooper steps in, shoots. Fired on goal by Vich, blocked by Rowe. Vich shoots, that heads over the net. Young trying to bank that off the boards. Carnew coming in, trying to dance around everybody. Porter out to the point there to Shepard, who just gingerly crosses the red line. Cleary there to Cooper. Cooper to Shepard. He chips that in deep. Fed back up, intercepted by Shepard. Shepard coming up ice. Waylands gets that back. Oh, a big hit there on Drew Shepard. And that is caught for offsides. So 11.49 left here in this third period. It's 4-1 for the tri Pen Osprey. So an update on the Growlers game. It's still 4-3 with just five minutes left. And it almost is a packed house down at the Mary Brown Center. I believe it's a 6,000 seat capacity uh, arena and there's 4,866. So the atmosphere down there must be electric just like it is here in the DF Burns Arena. Going out to Burn. He tries to dump that back in. Porter trying to get that back. Shepard to Cooper, back to Shepard. Shepard trying to get that around the boards. Reardon almost getting that out to the point, and now Sexton. Sexton giving that up. Cooper turning it around. Turn me loose, as Loverboy would say. Now that's up ice to Sparks. Owen Sparks coming in, giving that across. Reardon couldn't get his stick on it. Devro. Up ice to Sexton. Sexton to Porter. Back to Goss. Here's Devro. Laundry. Getting that. Starting to come up ice here. That's turned over to Sexton. Sexton, and that's covered up by Jacob French. Going out to the point to Goss. He fires out on net. It's freed out front. And Jacob French jumping on that puck. Here's Skinner. Getting that. Cutting in. Turning it back around. Trying to give that around the boards. Kernu is going to get that. Skinner is going to pick that up. Green. Battling for it. Pitcher is going to get that. Pitcher around the boards there to Harris. Harris coming up ice. Dumped in. Goss getting that. Goss off the boards there to Skinner. Skinner turning that over to Green. Adrian Green shooting that on goal. And Hurley is going to cover that up. So, folks, our apologies if we can't see your comments uh, tonight because Mike O'Brien is doing this from home. I'm pretty sure it is his wife's birthday, so they're having a party, I think. So a well-deserved break for Mike O'Brien. So our apologies if we can't see your comments in case you're commenting, uh, you know, great job or what a game. So just 
uh, for your notice. We can't see your comments, but for those of you commenting, we're all glad you're here with us for this thrilling game so far. Hurley's going to cover that up with 9.19 left in the third period. Da, trying to get that out of the ice. He's going to chip and go. Well, Wayland couldn't glove that down. And now here's Crosby. Crosby coming in. Crosby shooting over the net. Regan Hiscock is going to get that. Give it down to Mason Da. Hiscock getting it back again. Hiscock giving that over to Walsh. Walsh up to Hiscock. Hiscock couldn't get that a hotter. Almost keeping it in. Crane is going to fire that over the glass. Here's Cooper playing that in. Byrne is going to pick that up on the boards and played around there to Rowe. Rowe up to Kennedy, kept in there by Witten, trying to bank that off the boards. Cooper out in front of the net. Tucker turned that over and now that's dumped down the ice for an icing call. So, folks, I guess it's an appropriate time to give out my three stars tonight. My hardest working player is going to go to Regan Hiscock. He was all over the ice tonight. He just couldn't manage to find the back of the net. My third star is going to go to Alex Crane. He had a fantastic game so far tonight. My second star is going to go to Nick Crosby, who had two goals. And my first star is going to go to Jacob French who's been playing stellar in goal. And we, oh my goodness, we got an injury. I think that's Tyler Kernu who's down on the ice. Oh my goodness, it looks like he is out cold over there on the boards. We hope he is okay. Oh my goodness, we hope he is okay over there. So now we got some tri-pen staff out there. Trevor Budgel making his way out. And just to go, it just goes to show how quickly a season can change. So we hope Tyler Cernu is okay. We're seeing a bit of movement down there with his leg. Now we got some parents out there helping Tyler Cernu. So it looks like he's got his legs back. He's starting to he's starting to move his legs. That might be because he's in a bit of pain.
So it looks like he's almost up off the ice there now. So we're glad he is okay. Everybody can breathe a sigh of relief here in, in the DF Bronze Arena. We're glad it is nothing serious, so we hope, we hope he is okay. So he's gonna head off the ice. He landed awkwardly down on the boards, but everything will hopefully be resolved soon. So here we go. We're back and ready to go here. Porter winning that draw through. It managed to find its way out to Drew Shepard. Shepard dishing that across to Cooper. Cooper up to Sexton. Sexton into Cleary. Cleary is going to chase down Green. Porter. Trying to give that out to the point. That's turned over to Laundry. Laundry banking that off the boards and icing waved off here. Sparks just beating it in time. Cooper. Lovely feed up to Morgan Porter. He comes in and that's swatted away. Laundry over to Reardon. That's banked off the boards. And now Sexton coming back up the other way. Sexton trying to power it through. That goes out to Harris. Sparks. Shepard. Around the boards there to Cleary. Cleary up to Goss. Sparks up ice. Devro getting that back. Devro over to Sexton. Porter pressuring Byrne. Byrne battling with Sexton. That goes out. Vich trying to get that. Laundry. With it, Laundry starts to come up ice. Laundry, he might go the full way here, giving it down to Pitcher. Pitcher battles with Devro, and Porter gives that up to Sexton. Sexton dancing around one. Up to Vich. Andrew Vich. Trying to dump that in row. Back up ice. Porter putting it down, and it is an icing call. So the Newfoundland Growlers netted their fifth goal. So if you were down at the Newfoundland Growlers game, you get five cents a liter off gas tomorrow since they got five goals. So I'm sure everybody's pretty happy about that. As we know, gas prices are pretty high now. So that is now a big deal. So everybody's hoping that the Growlers score five goals every home game. So they'll take that game. There's just 30 seconds left. And they're up 5-3, so I'm assuming that they'll be able to hold on to that lead for those last few seconds of that game. Vich loses it, and French will cover it up. So 5-37 left here in this third period, 4-1 for the Tri-Pen Osprey. Oh, Jacob French looked like he broke his stick when he went to cover that up. Butler out to Goss. He shoots redirected. Oh, my. They almost beat... Jacob French, Devro faking that shot, and it's blocked by Nick Crosby, our first star of this game. That's dumped down the ice. 
Doss around the boards to Devro. Devro up ice green, dumping that in. Hurley plays that down behind the net. Turn over to Alex Crane. Hiscock coming up ice. He dumps that in, and that's batted down by Harris, and it is a high stick. So I think I actually made a mistake in my three stars. My third star was meant to be Morgan Porter. My honorable mention was going to be Alex Crane because he had a fantastic game, but my third star was Morgan Porter. Here's Hiscock trying to get that back. He works his way in. Hiscock's still going. He gets that swatted away. Kept in at the point by Hodder. Daw shoots that. That's blocked. And now Crane trying to get that by. And it looks like it was played with somebody's hand. So we got a whistle. Here's Hodder. Hodder, Randall, trying to get that up ice. Andrew Vich to Witten, trying to get that through to Randall. Daw's gonna come in and take it. Oh, look at Daw go. Vich stepping by, what a hit. A double hit. Here's Hodder, putting that down off the boards. That goes up, Hodder, back out to Daw. Daw, give that into Vich, he redirects that in. Byrne is going to fake that slapper and put it around the boards. And now here go Tripen. That stumped down. Da over to Hodder. Hodder into Witten. Witten, lovely move from him. Witten, oh, look at Witten go. Oh, that's gloved down by French. Great effort by Witten. There's Porter, winning that through, trying to get it to Cleary. Cleary getting that, giving that up front shot. Oh, what a save by Jacob French. Robbing you and Cleary on the doorstep. He's had more saves than Kellogg's has cornflakes. There's Cleary, getting that by Porter, is gonna get that back. Porter out to Cooper, putting that on goal, and that's cleared up the ice, gloved down by Cooper. Porter down to Cleary. Cleary spinning it around. Cleary still going with it. Cleary out to Shepard. Shepard giving that in front, that's redirected wide, and now here comes Tripen looking for a fifth. Here's Laundry coming in, that's turned over. And now here come the Pinnacle Growlers the other way. It's Reese Sexton coming in, and that's turned over. Laundry giving that up. Cooper waiting for somebody to get open. He gives it in to Morgan Porter. Porter fanning on the pass, getting it across there to Shepard. Shepard in front, turned over, and now Tripen. It's a three against Two, Sparks in, shoots, saved in goal by Hurley. Sexton battles for it, Laundry cutting by, giving that out there to Harris.
Harris giving that up ice, turned over, and now Laundry coming in. Laundry across the top, out to Dawson. Putting it into the corner, we're down to our last two minutes. Pitcher stepping it by Butler. Around there to Devereaux. Devereaux getting around one. Goss coming in. Into Walsh. Almost caught off sides. And now ride out back the other way. Hurley caught out of his net. He was going to pull the goalie. And now Devereaux up ice there to Hiscock. And now the Pinnacle Growlers are going to pull the goalie. Here's Hiscock coming in. And that's turned over to ride out. He dumps that down the ice. And it will go the full way for an icing call with 121 left here in this third period. So it looks like the Pinnacle Growlers had seven players out there for a second. They get that all resolved. And we're back to hockey. One through Walsh getting that, turning and firing. That goes wide. Goss to Butler. Down low to Hiscock. Hiscock out to Porter. He steps in, shoots, redirected in front. They still try to jam it away. No, Butler couldn't get it. We're down to our last minute now. Here's Goss. Goss over to Porter, slap shot wide of the net, and it bounces out front, nobody there. And that's cleared down the ice, icing waved off. Here's Morgan Porter. Porter up to Cole Goss, giving that back there to Butler. He gets around Crosby. Butler slammed into the boards, and that's cleared down the ice, and it will go for an icing call. So as you can probably hear, the tri-pin bench is pretty fired up after this one. There's Butler winning it through. He picks that up. Butler out to Hiscock. Regan Hiscock, he shoots. Redirected off the glass. And now that's fed out front. Knocked away, Hiscock, lovely pass out to Goss, redirected, cleared away. Porter, that bounces up in the air, pitcher gloves that down, right out, clearing it out. Skinner keeping it in, fired on goal, redirected over the net, and that is almost gonna do it here. 2.4 seconds left. Try Penn, know it, this series is gonna be evened up as we head back to Bay Roberts. So the Pinnacle Growlers are gonna be handed their first regulation home loss of the season. And I definitely think Jacob French was a huge difference maker in this game. He is a big reason why TriPen won this one and that's gonna do it. The TriPen Osprey even up the series with a big 4-1 win over the Pinnacle Growlers. Thank you folks for tuning into this one. We hope you have a great night. Be sure to pray for Ukraine, be kind to one another, and stay safe. Thank you, folks. I'm Seth Hyde, signing out.